49 Days of Psalms, Week 4, The Daily 5-Minute Bible Welcome to our fourth weekly compilation of our 49 Days of Psalms. This week, we bring you reflections from Day 22 through Day 28, covering Psalms 68 to Psalms 81. May these psalms uplift your spirit and provide strength for your journey. 49 Days of Psalms Day 22 Psalms 68 Let God arise, let his enemies be scattered. Let them also that hate him flee before him. As smoke is driven away, so drive them away. As wax melts before the fire, so let the wicked perish at the presence of God. But let the righteous be glad. Let them rejoice before God. Yet let them exceedingly rejoice. Sing unto God, sing praises to his name. Extol him that rides upon the heavens by his name Jah, and rejoice before him. A father of the fatherless, and a judge of the widows, is God in his holy habitation. God sets the solitary in families. He brings out those which are bound with chains, but the rebellious dwell in a dry land. O God, when you went forth before your people, when you did march through the wilderness, Selah, the earth shook, the heavens also dropped at the presence of God. Even Sinai itself was moved at the presence of God, the God of Israel. You, O God, did send a plentiful rain, whereby you did confirm your inheritance when it was weary. Your congregation has dwelt therein. You, O God, have prepared of your goodness for the poor. The Lord gave the word. Great was the company of those that published it. Kings of armies did flee swiftly and she that tarried at home divided the spoil. Though all of you have lion among the pots, yet shall all of you be as the wings of a dove covered with silver, and her feathers with yellow gold. When the Almighty scattered kings in it, it was white as snow and salmon. The hill of God is as the hill of Bashan, and high hill as the hill of Bashan. Why leap all of you all of you high hills? This is the hill which God desires to dwell in. Yea, the Lord will dwell in it forever. The chariots of God are twenty thousand, even thousands of angels. The Lord is among them, as in Sinai, in the holy place. You have ascended on high, you have led captivity captive. You have received gifts for men, yea, for the rebellious also, that the Lord God might dwell among them. Blessed be the Lord, who daily loads us with benefits, even the God of our salvation. Selah. He that is our God is the God of salvation, and unto God the Lord belong the issues from death. But God shall wound the head of his enemies, and the hairy scalp of such an one as goes on still in his trespasses. The Lord said, I will bring again from Bashan. I will bring my people again from the depths of the sea. That your foot may be dipped in the blood of your enemies, and the tongue of your dogs in the same. They have seen your activities, O God, even the activities of my God, my King, in the sanctuary. The singers went before, the players on instruments followed after. Among them were the damsels playing with timbrels. Bless all of you, God, in the congregations, even the Lord, from the fountain of Israel. There is little Benjamin with their ruler, the princes of Judah and their council, the princes of Zebulun, and the princes of Naphtali. Your God has commanded your strength. Strengthen, O God, that which you have wrought for us. Because of your temple at Jerusalem, shall kings bring presents unto you. Rebuke the company of spearmen, the multitude of the bulls, with the calves of the people, till everyone submit himself with pieces of silver. Scatter you the people that delight in war. Princes shall come out of Egypt. Ethiopia shall soon stretch out her hands unto God. Sing unto God, all of you kingdoms of the earth. O sing praises unto the Lord. Selah. To him that rides upon the heavens of heavens, which were of old, though he does send out his voice, and that a mighty voice. Ascribe all of you strength unto God. His excellency is over Israel, and his strength is in the clouds. O God, you are terrible out of your holy places. 
The God of Israel is He that gives strength and power unto His people. Blessed be God. Psalm 68, Day 22 has ended. 49 Days of Psalms Day 23 Psalms 69-70 through 70. Psalms 69 Save me, O God, for the waters are come in unto my soul. I sink in deep mire where there is no standing. I am come into deep waters where the floods overflow me. I am weary of my crying. My throat is dried. Mine eyes fail while I wait for my God. They that hate me without a cause are more than the hairs of mine head. They that would destroy me, being mine enemies wrongfully, are mighty. Then I restored that which I took not away. O oh God, you know my foolishness, and my sins are not hid from you. Let not them that wait on you, O Lord God of hosts, be ashamed for my sake. Let not those that seek you be confounded for my sake, O God of Israel. Because for your sake I have borne reproach. Shame has covered my face. I am become a stranger unto my brethren, and an foreigner unto my mother's children. For the zeal of yours house has eaten me up, and the reproaches of them that reproached you are fallen upon me. When I wept and chastened my soul with fasting, that was to my reproach. I made sackcloth also my garment, and I became a proverb to them. They that sit in the gate speak against me, and I was the song of the drunkards. But as for me, my prayer is unto you, O Lord, in an acceptable time. O God, in the multitude of your mercy, hear me, in the truth of your salvation. Deliver me out of the mire, and let me not sink. Let me be delivered from them that hate me, and out of the deep waters. Let not the flood of waters overflow me, neither let the deep swallow me up, and let not the pit shut her mouth upon me. Hear me, O Lord, for your loving kindness is good. Turn unto me according to the multitude of your tender mercies. And hide not your face from your servant, for I am in trouble. Hear me speedily. Draw nigh unto my soul and redeem it. Deliver me because of mine enemies. You have known my reproach and my shame and my dishonor. Mine adversaries are all before you. Reproach has broken my heart, and I am full of heaviness. And I looked for some to take pity, but there was none. And for comforters, but I found none. They gave me also gall for my food, and in my thirst they gave me vinegar to drink. Let their table become a snare before them, and that which should have been for their welfare, let it become a trap. Let their eyes be darkened, that they see not, and make their loins continually to shake. Pour out yours indignation upon them, and let your wrathful anger take hold of them. Let their habitation be desolate, and let none dwell in their tents. For they persecute him whom you have smitten, and they talk to the grief of those whom you have wounded. Add iniquity unto their iniquity, and let them not come into your righteousness. Let them be blotted out of the book of the living, and not be written with the righteous. But I am poor and sorrowful. Let your salvation, O God, set me up on high. I will praise the name of God with a song, and will magnify him with thanksgiving. This also shall please the Lord better than an ox or bullock that has horns and hooves. The humble shall see this and be glad, and your heart shall live that seek God. For the Lord hears the poor and despises not his prisoners. Let the heaven and earth praise him, the seas and everything that moves therein. For God will save Zion and will build the cities of Judah that they may dwell there and have it in possession. The seed also of his servants shall inherit it, and they that love his name shall dwell therein. Psalm 70 Make haste, O God, to deliver me. Make haste to help me, O Lord. Let them be ashamed and confounded that seek after my soul. Let them be turned backward and put to confusion that desire my hurt. Let them be turned back for a reward of their shame that say, Aha, uh aha. -huh, uh -huh. Let all those that seek you rejoice and be glad in you. And let such as love your salvation say continually, 
let God be magnified. But I am poor and needy. Make haste unto me, O God. You are my help and my deliverer. O Lord, make no tarrying. Psalm 69-70, through 70, Day 23 has ended. 49 Days of Psalms Day 24 Psalm 71-72 through 72. Psalm 71 In you, O Lord, do I put my trust. Let me never be put to confusion. Deliver me in your righteousness and cause me to escape. Incline yours ear unto me and save me. Be you my strong habitation, unto which I may continually resort. You have given commandment to save me, for you are my rock and my fortress. Deliver me, O my God, out of the hand of the wicked, out of the hand of the unrighteous and cruel man. For you are my hope, O Lord God. You are my trust from my youth. By you have I been held up from the womb. You are he that took me out of my mother's bowels. My praise shall be continually of you. Him is a wonder unto many, but you are my strong refuge. Let my mouth be filled with your praise and with your honor all the day. Cast me not off in the time of old age. Forsake me not when my strength fails. For mine enemies speak against me, and they that lay wait for my soul take counsel together. Saying God has forsaken him, persecute and take him, for there is none to deliver him. O God, be not far from me. O my God, make haste for my help. Let them be confounded and consumed that are adversaries to my soul. Let them be covered with reproach and dishonor that seek my hurt. But I will hope continually, and will yet praise you more and more. My mouth shall show forth your righteousness and your salvation all the day, for I know not the numbers thereof. I will go in the strength of the Lord God. I will make mention of your righteousness, even of yours only. O God, you have taught me from my youth, and until now have I declared your wondrous works. Now also, when I am old and gray-headed, O God, forsake me not, until I have showed your strength unto this generation and your power to everyone that is to come. Your righteousness also, O God, is very high, who have done great things, O God, who is like unto you. You, which have showed me great and sore troubles, shall restore life in me again, and shall bring me up again from the depths of the earth. You shall increase my greatness and comfort me on every side. I will also praise you with the psaltery, even your truth, O my God. Unto you will I sing with the harp, O you Holy One of Israel. My lips shall greatly rejoice when I sing unto you, and my soul, which you have redeemed. My tongue also shall talk of your righteousness all the day long, for they are confounded, for they are brought unto shame that seek my hurt. Psalm 72 Give the king your judgments, O God, and your righteousness unto the king's son. He shall judge your people with righteousness, and your poor with judgment. The mountains shall bring peace to the people, and the little hills, by righteousness. He shall judge the poor of the people, he shall save the children of the needy, and shall break in pieces the oppressor. They shall fear you, as long as the sun and moon endure, throughout all generations. He shall come down like rain upon the mown grass, as showers that water the earth. In his days shall the righteous flourish, an abundance of peace so long as the moon endures. He shall have dominion also from sea to sea, and from the river unto the ends of the earth. They that dwell in the wilderness shall bow before him, and his enemies shall lick the dust. The kings of Tarshish and of the isles shall bring presents. The kings of Sheba and Seba shall offer gifts. Yea, all kings shall fall down before him. All nations shall serve him. For he shall deliver the needy when he cries, the poor also, and him that has no helper. He shall spare the poor and needy, and shall save the souls of the needy. He shall redeem their soul from deceit and violence, and precious shall their blood be in his sight. And he shall live, and to him shall be given of the gold of Sheba, 
Prayer also shall be made for him continually, and daily shall he be praised. There shall be an handful of corn in the earth upon the top of the mountains. The fruit thereof shall shake like Lebanon, and they of the city shall flourish like grass of the earth. His name shall endure forever. His name shall be continued as long as the sun, and men shall be blessed in him. All nations shall call him blessed. Blessed be the Lord God, the God of Israel, who only does wondrous things. And blessed be his glorious name forever, and let the whole earth be filled with his glory. Amen and Amen. The prayers of David the son of Jesse are ended. Psalm 71 through 72, day 24 has ended. 49 days of Psalms. Day 25. Psalm 73 through 74. Psalms 73. Truly God is good to Israel, even to such as are of a clean heart. But as for me, my feet were almost gone, my steps had well nigh slipped. For I was envious at the foolish when I saw the prosperity of the wicked. For there are no bands in their death, but their strength is firm. They are not in trouble as other men, neither are they plagued like other men. Therefore pride compasses them about as a chain, violence covers them as a garment. Their eyes stand out with fatness, they have more than heart could wish. They are corrupt and speak wickedly concerning oppression, they speak loftily. They set their mouth against the heavens, and their tongue walks through the earth. Therefore his people return here and waters of a full cup are wrung out to them. And they say, How does God know? And is there knowledge in the Most High? Behold, these are the ungodly who prosper in the world. They increase in riches. Verily I have cleansed my heart in vain, and washed my hands in innocence. For all the day long have I been plagued and chastened every morning. If I say, I will speak thus, Behold, I should offend against the generation of your children. When I thought to know this, it was too painful for me. Until I went into the sanctuary of God, then understood I their end. Surely you did set them in slippery places. You casted them down into destruction. How are they brought into desolation as in a moment? They are utterly consumed with terrors. As a dream when one awakes, so, O Lord, when you awake, you shall despise their image. Thus my heart was grieved, and I was pricked in my reins. So foolish was I and ignorant. I was as a beast before you. Nevertheless, I am continually with you. You have held me by my right hand. You shall guide me with your counsel, and afterward receive me to glory. Whom have I in heaven but you? and there is none upon earth that I desire beside you. My flesh and my heart fails, but God is the strength of my heart and my portion forever. For lo, they that are far from you shall perish. You have destroyed all them that go a-whoring from you. But it is good for me to draw near to God. I have put my trust in the Lord God, that I may declare all your works. Psalm 74 O God, why have you cast us off forever? Why does yours anger smoke against the sheep of your pasture? Remember your congregation, which you have purchased of old, the rod of yours inheritance, which you have redeemed, this Mount Zion, wherein you have dwelt. Lift up your feet unto the perpetual desolations, even all that the enemy has done wickedly in the sanctuary. Yours enemies roar in the midst of your congregations. They set up their ensigns for signs. A man was famous according, as he had lifted up axes upon the thick trees. But now they break down the carved work thereof at once with axes and hammers. They have cast fire into your sanctuary. They have defiled by casting down the dwelling place of your name to the ground. They said in their hearts, Let us destroy them together. They have burned up all the synagogues of God in the land. We see not our signs. There is no more any prophet. Neither is there among us any that knows how long. O God, how long shall the adversary reproach? 
Shall the enemy blaspheme your name forever? Why withdraw you your hand, even your right hand? Pluck it out of your bosom. For God is my King of old, working salvation in the midst of the earth. You did divide the sea by your strength. You break the heads of the dragons in the waters. You break the heads of Leviathan in pieces and gave him to be food to the people inhabiting the wilderness. You did cleave the fountain and the flood. You dried up mighty rivers. The day is yours, the night also is yours. You have prepared the light and the sun. You have set all the borders of the earth. You have made summer and winter. Remember this, that the enemy has reproached, O Lord, and that the foolish people have blasphemed your name. O deliver not the soul of your turtle dove unto the multitude of the wicked. Forget not the congregation of your poor forever. Have respect unto the covenant, for the dark places of the earth are full of the habitations of cruelty. O let not the oppressed return ashamed. Let the poor and needy praise your name. Arise, O God, plead your own cause. Remember how the foolish man reproaches you daily. Forget not the voice of yours enemies. The tumult of those that rise up against you increases continually. Psalm 73-74, through 74, Day 25 has ended. 49 Days of Psalms Day 26 Psalm 75-77 through 77. Psalm 75 Unto you, O God, do we give thanks? Unto you do we give thanks. For that your name is near your wondrous works declare. When I shall receive the congregation, I will judge uprightly. The earth and all the inhabitants thereof are dissolved. I bear up the pillars of it. Selah. I said unto the fools, Deal not foolishly. And to the wicked, Lift not up the horn. Lift not up your horn on high. Speak not with a stiff neck. For promotion comes neither from the east, nor from the west, nor from the south. But God is the judge. He puts down one and sets up another. For in the hand of the Lord there is a cup, and the wine is red. It is full of mixture, and he pours out of the same. But the dregs thereof, all the wicked of the earth, shall wring them out and drink them. But I will declare forever. I will sing praises to the God of Jacob. All the horns of the wicked also will I cut off, but the horns of the righteous shall be exalted. Psalm 76 In Judah is God known. His name is great in Israel. In Salem also is his tabernacle and his dwelling place in Zion. There break he the arrows of the bow, the shield, and the sword, and the battle. Selah You are more glorious and excellent than the mountains of prey. The stout-hearted are spoiled, they have slept their sleep, and none of the men of might have found their hands. At your rebuke, O God of Jacob, both the chariot and horse are cast into a dead sleep. You, even you, are to be feared, and who may stand in your sight when once you are angry? You did cause judgment to be heard from heaven. The earth feared and was still. When God arose to judgment, to save all the meek of the earth. Selah. Surely the wrath of man shall praise you. The remainder of wrath shall you restrain. Vow and pay unto the Lord your God. Let all that be round about him bring presents unto him that ought to be feared. He shall cut off the spirit of princes. He is terrible to the kings of the earth. Psalm 77 I cried unto God with my voice, even unto God with my voice, and he gave ear unto me. In the day of my trouble I sought the Lord. My sore ran in the night, and ceased not. My soul refused to be comforted. I remembered God and was troubled. I complained, and my spirit was overwhelmed. Selah You hold mine eyes waking. I am so troubled that I cannot speak. I have considered the days of old, the years of ancient times. I call to remembrance my song in the night. I commune with mine own heart, and my spirit made diligent search. Will the Lord cast off forever? 
And will he be favorable no more? Is his mercy clean gone forever? Does his promise fail forevermore? Has God forgotten to be gracious? Has he in anger shut up his tender mercies? Selah. And I said, This is my infirmity. But I will remember the years of the right hand of the Most High. I will remember the works of the Lord. Surely I will remember your wonders of old. I will meditate also of all your work and talk of your doings. Your way, O God, is in the sanctuary. Who is so great a God as our God? You are the God that do wonders. You have declared your strength among the people. You have with yours arm redeemed your people, the sons of Jacob and Joseph. Selah. The waters saw you, O God, the waters saw you. They were afraid. The depths also were troubled. The clouds poured out water. The skies sent out a sound. Yours arrows also went abroad. The voice of your thunder was in the heaven. The lightnings lightened the world. The earth trembled and shook. Your way is in the sea, and your path in the great waters, and your footsteps are not known. You led your people like a flock by the hand of Moses and Aaron. Psalm 75-77, through 77, Day 26 has ended. 49 Days of Psalms Day 27 Psalms 78 Give ear, O my people, to my law. Incline your ears to the words of my mouth. I will open my mouth in a parable. I will utter dark sayings of old, which we have heard and known, and our fathers have told us. We will not hide them from their children, showing to the generation to come the praises of the Lord and His strength and His wonderful works that He has done. For He established a testimony in Jacob, and appointed a law in Israel, which He commanded our fathers, that they should make them known to their children. That the generation to come might know them, even the children which should be born, who should arise and declare them to their children. That they might set their hope in God, and not forget the works of God, but keep His commandments. And might not be as their fathers, a stubborn and rebellious generation, a generation that set not their heart aright, and whose spirit was not steadfast with God. The children of Ephraim, being armed and carrying bows, turned back in the day of battle. They kept not the covenant of God, and refused to walk in His law, and forgotten about His works and His wonders that He had showed them. Marvelous things did He in the sight of their fathers, in the land of Egypt, in the field of Zoan. He divided the sea, and caused them to pass through, and He made the waters to stand as in heap. In the daytime also He led them with a cloud, and all the night with a light of fire. He clave the rocks in the wilderness, and gave them drink as out of the great depths. He brought streams also out of the rock, and caused waters to run down like rivers. And they sinned yet more against Him by provoking the Most High in the wilderness. And they tempted God in their heart by asking food for their lust. Yea, they spoke against God. They said, Can God furnish a table in the wilderness? Behold, He stroked the rock that the waters gushed out, and the streams overflowed. Can he give bread also? Can he provide flesh for his people? Therefore the Lord heard this, and was angry. So a fire was kindled against Jacob, and anger also came up against Israel. Because they believed not in God, and trusted not in his salvation. Though he had commanded the clouds from above, and opened the doors of heaven, and had rained down manna upon them to eat, and had given them of the corn of heaven. Man did eat angels' food. He sent them food to the full. He caused an east wind to blow in the heaven, and by his power he brought in the south wind. He rained flesh also upon them as dust, and feathered fowls like the sand of the sea. And he let it fall in the midst of their camp, round about their habitations. So they did eat and were well filled, for he gave them their own desire. They were not cut off from their lust, but while their food was yet in their mouths, the wrath of God came upon them, 
and slew the fattest of them, and stroke down the chosen men of Israel. For all this they sinned still, and believed not for his wondrous works. Therefore their days did he consume in vanity, and their years in trouble. When he slew them, then they sought him, and they returned and inquired early after God. And they remembered that God was their rock, and the high God their Redeemer. Nevertheless they did flatter him with their mouth, and they lied unto him with their tongues. For their heart was not right with him, neither were they steadfast in his covenant. But he, being full of compassion, forgave their iniquity, and destroyed them not. Yea, many a time turned he his anger away, and did not stir up all his wrath. For he remembered that they were but flesh, a wind that passes away, and comes not again. How often did they provoke him in the wilderness, and grieve him in the desert? Yea, they turned back and tempted God, and limited the Holy One of Israel. They remembered not his hand, nor the day when he delivered them from the enemy. How he had wrought his signs in Egypt, and his wonders in the field of Zoan, and had turned their rivers into blood, and their floods that they could not drink. He sent divers sorts of flies among them, which devoured them, and frogs which destroyed them. He gave also their increase unto the caterpillar, and their labor unto the locust. He destroyed their vines with hail, and their sycamore trees with frost. He gave up their cattle also to the hail, and their flocks to hot thunderbolts. He cast upon them the fierceness of his anger, wrath, and indignation, and trouble, by sending evil angels among them. He made a way to his anger. He spared not their soul from death but gave their life over to the pestilence. And stroke all the firstborn in Egypt, the chief of their strength in the tabernacles of Ham, but made his own people to go forth like sheep, and guided them in the wilderness like a flock. And he led them on safely so that they feared not, but the sea overwhelmed their enemies. And he brought them to the border of his sanctuary, even to this mountain which his right hand had purchased. He cast out the heathen also before them, and divided them an inheritance by line, and made the tribes of Israel to dwell in their tents. Yet they tempted and provoked the Most High God, and kept not his testimonies, but turned back and dealt unfaithfully like their fathers. They were turned aside like a deceitful bow. For they provoked him to anger with their high places, and moved him to jealousy with their graven images. When God heard this, he was angry and greatly abhorred Israel, so that he forsook the tabernacle of Shiloh, the tent which he placed among men, and delivered his strength into captivity and his glory into the enemy's hand. He gave his people over also unto the sword, and was angry with his inheritance. The fire consumed their young men, and their maidens were not given to marriage. Their priests fell by the sword, and their widows made no lamentation. Then the Lord awaked as one out of sleep, and like a mighty man that shouts by reason of wine. And he stroked his enemies in the hinder parts. He put them to a perpetual reproach. Moreover, he refused the tabernacle of Joseph, and chose not the tribe of Ephraim, but chose the tribe of Judah, the Mount Zion which he loved. And he built his sanctuary like high palaces, like the earth which he has established forever. He chose David also his servant, and took him from the sheepfolds. From following the ewes great with young, he brought him to feed Jacob his people and Israel his inheritance. So he fed them according to the integrity of his heart, and guided them by the skillfulness of his hands. Psalms 78 day 27 has ended. 49 Days of Psalms Day 28 Psalm 79-81 through 81. Psalm 79 O God, the heathen are come into yours inheritance. Your holy temple have they defiled. They have laid Jerusalem on heaps. The dead bodies of your servants have they given to be food unto the fowls of the heaven, the flesh of your saints, 
unto the beasts of the earth. Their blood have they shed like water round about Jerusalem, and there was none to bury them. We are become a reproach to our neighbors, a scorn and derision to them that are round about us. How long, Lord, will you be angry forever? Shall your jealousy burn like fire? Pour out your wrath upon the heathen that have not known you, and upon the kingdoms that have not called upon your name. For they have devoured Jacob and laid waste his dwelling place. O oh, remember not against us former iniquities. Let your tender mercy speedily prevent us, for we are brought very low. Help us, O God of our salvation, for the glory of your name, and deliver us and purge away our sins for your name's sake. Wherefore should the heathen say, Where is their God? Let him be known among the heathen in our sight by the revenging of the blood of your servants which is shed. Let the sighing of the prisoner come before you. According to the greatness of your power, preserve you those that are appointed to die. And render unto our neighbors sevenfold into their bosom their reproach, wherewith they have reproached you, O Lord. So we, your people and sheep of your pasture, will give you thanks forever. We will show forth your praise to all generations. Psalms 80 Give ear, O shepherd of Israel, you that lead Joseph like a flock, you that dwell between the cherubims, shine forth. Before Ephraim and Benjamin and Manasseh, stir up your strength and come and save us. Turn us again, O God, and cause your face to shine, and we shall be saved. O Lord God of hosts, how long will you be angry against the prayer of your people? You feed them with the bread of tears, and give them tears to drink in great measure. You make us a strife unto our neighbors, and our enemies laugh among themselves. Turn us again, O God of hosts, and cause your face to shine, and we shall be saved. You have brought a vine out of Egypt. You have cast out the heathen and planted it, you prepared room before it, and did cause it to take deep root, and it filled the land. The hills were covered with the shadow of it, and the boughs thereof were like the goodly cedars. She sent out her boughs unto the sea, and her branches unto the river. Why have you then broken down her hedges, so that all they which pass by the way do pluck her? The boar out of the wood does waste it, and the wild beast of the field does devour it. Return, we plead to you, O God of hosts. Look down from heaven and behold, and visit this vine. And the vineyard which your right hand has planted, and the branch that you made strong for yourself. It is burned with fire. It is cut down. They perish at the rebuke of your countenance. Let your hand be upon the man of your right hand, upon the son of man whom you made strong for yourself. So will not we go back from you? Quicken us and we will call upon your name. Turn us again, O Lord God of hosts, cause your face to shine, and we shall be saved. Psalms 81 Sing aloud unto God our strength. Make a joyful noise unto the God of Jacob. Take a psalm, and bring here the timbrel, the pleasant harp with the psaltery. Blow up the trumpet in the new moon, in the time appointed, on our solemn feast day. For this was a statute for Israel, and a law of the God of Jacob. This he ordained in Joseph for a testimony, when he went out through the land of Egypt, where I heard a language that I understood not. I removed his shoulder from the burden, his hands were delivered from the pots. You called in trouble, and I delivered you. I answered you in the secret place of thunder. I proved you at the waters of Meribah. Selah. Hear, O my people, and I will testify unto you, O Israel, if you will hearken unto me. There shall no strange God be in you, neither shall you worship any strange God. I am the Lord your God, which brought you out of the land of Egypt. Open your mouth wide, and I will fill it. But my people would not hearken to my voice, and Israel refused me. So I gave them up unto their own heart's lust and they walked in their own counsels. Oh, that my people had hearkened unto me, and Israel had walked in my ways! 
I should soon have subdued their enemies and turned my hand against their adversaries. The haters of the Lord should have submitted themselves unto him, but their time should have endured forever. He should have fed them also with the finest of the wheat, and with honey out of the rock should I have satisfied you. Psalm 79-81, through 81, Day 28 has ended. Please continue with our 49 Days of Psalms, The Journey with the Lord with Verses from the Bible. I encourage you all to join me as we continue on this 49 Days of Psalms, immersing ourselves in the Lord's presence through the sacred verses of the Bible.